see the greatest show the world has ever seen. Actually, you are watching Davenport Daily News. Today you will be learning about bull sharks with McLean. And Anna and Sarah have some really important announcements for you. But most importantly, here is a sneak peek at today's book fair. Step right up! Get your books here! Step right up! And look, it's baby powder. I put it in their face so their makeup wouldn't go away. Because while they were wearing these wigs and their fun makeup, they were wearing the funny shoes and the unicycle and juggling and telling jokes and running around and flipping and doing pie wars. Clowns used to love to do pie wars. So put cream in this and this is what they throw. It's fake. Oh, oh I know. That. And their yeah, whole know show was about so making people laugh and entertaining. That's why, you know, we should not be afraid of clowns because they're just regular people. And we kind of hurt their feelings when we say they're creepy because just one clown, right? Because they work so hard. And guess what? Just to show you this, how many of you did kindergarten with us here? How many of you? How many of you had Miss Kaiser? <laughs> Me, I definitely had her. Miss no. Kaiser, it's actually a clown. What? She, what? Went, she went to clown college, and inside, right before you leave the book fair, you're gonna see chairs stacked on top of each other, and you're gonna see her picture and her clown makeup, the one she decided for herself, and you're gonna see her adorable clown shoes that match her so well and her little funny clown hat that she used to wear, and she was Caroline the Clown. So clowns are real people, real performers. So now if you follow me down the other side of the circus here, remember how we talked about all those traveling performers? And they'll be in the wagons. Magicians. And magicians. So then we come to the other side. We have the clowns entertaining and making you laugh. And then we have the ringmaster that will be like, come one, come all to the greatest show on earth, right? And they have their fancy clothing, very distinguished looking. And we have the showgirls. Oh, so and the showgirls will dance and entertain. And they will assist maybe the magician with their big capes. And you know what else they had? They had horseback riders in their fancy costumes. And they used to be so cool. Like they'll come out on this horses yeah, like and they will be riding the horses and jump on the horses and do flips on the horses. All sorts of cool things. It was an amazing show to watch. What did you like about the book fair? It's the tax paper. I like getting new books. Um, I like the awesome decorations and the and the outside and all the nice books. Hey, what did you like about the book fair? I like how it's a circus and it looks like me. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have all of AR board points. They have one out of five books. The books and the decorations. Um, I like it that it has a lot of books and a lot of journals. I'm McLean, I'm location at the beach today. It's beautiful out here. People are splashing and playing in the water. Everyone, out of the water! I think I see a bull shark! This is McLean at Station 1. Everyone, out of the water. The humans, bull sharks are usually aggressive, but probably not on purpose. Bull sharks are always out to, to look for a bite to eat. Day and night, they hunt for a meal. They probably think you are their normal dinner of fish, other sharks, a dolphin, or maybe even a turtle. Imagine being strong enough to crack that shell with a single bite. Bull sharks live in all shallow warm ocean waters, but they can survive in fresh water too. They come in close contact with humans all of the time. Yep, I'm pretty certain that's a bull shark because of its appearance. It's medium with 
a thick body. I also got a good look at its snout. It's flat. That's a good way to recognize one of these guys. They have small eyes, usually thought to see it mostly in black and white. But they make up for their poor vision with their keen sense of smell. Looks like the coast is clear. Everyone, back into the water. Miss Wilmeth, get out of the water! <laughs> it's a busy new year at DSA. January 25th is the 100th day of school, and the book fair is back. It's that time already? It sure is, and this is one you won't want to miss. The theme is the circus. That sounds like a lot of fun, and I can get some great books. Why not bring the whole family for a family bonding experience? Yes. Tonight is family night. There is going to be live entertainment, face paintings, and so much more. And food trucks. Come enjoy Italian ice, Mexican food, barbecue, and of course, desserts. The book fair will run until January 28th. Don't miss space night on February 4th. Students should receive a flyer with all of the information that you need. There will be lots of workshops for the whole family. There will be water bottle rockets, planet art, making your own dwarf planet, galaxy slime, and you can even design your own space themed t-shirt, and much more. Lunch for today is burger on bun, pizza snacker, chef salad, fries, veggie tray with ranch, and a fruit tray. Students, please remember to check the lost and found in the clinic, as well as the playground and hallways near the recess doors for jackets, water bottles, and any missing belongings.